quantitative estimation of fish populations is an extremely important technique that we've used widely in the Waikato and, and other parts of the North Island. We need to know what species are where, what changes have happened over time and what changes we see spatially, particularly between different land uses. We first used drift diving to look at salmon and trout, but more recently we've developed that into electrofishing and wading form where we go into streams and shallow water habitats. But the big breakthrough was that in 2003 we developed an electrofishing boat. And the electrofishing boat allows us to go into non-wadeable habitats and to fish the whole fish community at a single sweep. We use a GPS to tell us where we've been and once we know how many fish we've caught, we can quickly get a good overview of the fish population on an aerial basis. We've applied this widely uh, throughout the North Island uh, for a variety of regional councils and for Department of Conservation. Didymo is an invasive freshwater alga that tends to coat the beds of large rivers and streams to such an extent that it uh, kills and smothers the invertebrate community which reduces the food for fish. It's highly invasive and it was discovered in New Zealand in about 2006. I developed a sampling system whereby we can get drifting algae, put them through uh, genetic techniques to find out whether or not that water sample contains didymo. The result so far is that we've not yet seen didymo get into the North Island, which is extremely good news. It's spread quite widely through the South Island but it appears that the Cook Straits are a pretty effective barrier to getting to the North Island. My group pioneered the use of satellite imagery to look at the quality of fresh water. So what we can do from a Landsat satellite image is to look at the um, water clarity, at the amount of chlorophyll in the water, which tells us the amount of algae, and the amount of suspended sediment in the water. From looking at satellite images, we can um, basically analyse 100 lakes, say, in a single, uh, single sweep. We automate that and we can actually go back in time so we can produce monitoring scenarios for lakes that have never had a boat on them or any samples taken.